In this tutorial I'll show you how I made this steel type material and this gold type material. With materials there are a lot of settings that change so to make sure we're all at the same starting point I'm going to load factory settings. I'm going to add mesh UV sphere. I'm going to grab the point of the red arrow of the 3D manipulator widget and drag that in the X direction. I'm going to add mesh monkey and I'm going to grab the green arrow and drag the monkey's head in the Y direction. I'm going to go into the view menu and toggle quad view. I'm going to go into the right view and press R to rotate and I'm going to rotate the monkey's head by 90 degrees and the same in the top view I'm going to press R to rotate I'm going to rotate to 90 degrees then I'm going to select the camera and I'm going to press R to rotate X and X again and doing that you can alter the pitch of the camera and I'm going to get uh, objects in the middle. I'm going to go to the add menu add mesh plane. I'm going to go into the object properties for the plane. I'm going to set the scale to be 10 in the X direction, scale by 10, a factor of 10 in the Y direction and I'm going to move the plane down minus one blender units in the Z direction. I'm going to go to the select menu and select by type and select all my mesh objects and then I'm going to go to shading and set to smooth and that will put a curved smooth surface through all the vertices that make up the objects. I'm going to go to the view menu and toggle the view out of quad view and I'm going to change the view to camera. Now if I select the monkey and go to the material button in the properties window there is no material allocated to the monkey. If I select the default cube uh, that has a default material called material allocated to it. I'm going to change the name of the material to steel and press enter. Now I'm going to select the plane and this has no material allocated to it so I'm going to cl click plus to create a new material and I'm going to call this material dark blue and press enter. I'm going to go to the diffuse color and I'm going to move on the color wheel to select blue and drag down to make a dark blue. Now I'm going to select the monkey's head. This has no, mater no material allocated to it. I could click the plus to add a new material or if I click this button it lists all the materials in the scene and I can just select one of these. So I'm going to select steel and I'm going to select the sphere and do exactly the same. Click this button and select steel. I'm going to go to the render settings of the properties window and I'm going to click render image. Zoom back a little bit with the mouse and we see our objects are this dull grey default material. How do we make that material look more like steel? I'm going to go back to material in the properties window and there's our material steel. The rendering the view has taken us into the image editor and while I'm in the image ed editor I'm going to load in some images of steel objects that I found on Google image search. Now if I click this button here it'll display thumbnails and there's a stainless steel hot tub and I'm going to open another image as well of some steel washers 
Now, just going to swap the image back to the hot tub. Now, the diffuse color, I'm going to try and sample it from the image. The diffuse color shouldn't be in shade and it shouldn't be in highlight. That has given me uh, a dark gray with values about 0.1 of each color. And if I click the ink dropper again and pick another area, it's given a much lighter gray of values about 0.4 for each uh, red, green and blue. So what value do I go for? These are a bit more uniform color. So if I pick up a color here, that is in the range just over 0.2. I'll do one more. Again, it's much more uniform this one, around the 0.2 mark. Which is the right answer? Which is the right colour? Well, obviously there isn't one, but by clicking in a range of areas it gives you an idea of what the correct colour should be. And just for repeatability I'll put in values of 0.2 for all the three colours. And that gives us a fairly dark grey. To render the image I need to go back to the 3D view window and go to render, render image and we get a darker grey but it's still flat and dull. We need it to be bright, shiny and reflective so how do we do that? And I'll show you how to do all that in part two of the tutorial.